Hey there, I am back today to show you guys how you could take an ABS print and vapor smooth it so it comes out like this. I uh, have a, a video up on our Wham Bam channel showing how to print an ABS with success. So I'll let the link, I'll put the link in the comments below. But now I'm going to teach you how to vapor smooth. So a few things you're going to need. You're going to need a heated surface. You could also use the bed of your 3D printer. You could use your stove. I have a portable little hot uh, pot, whatever you call this, um, a little electric stove unit. You're going to need a big uh, boiling pot, a crab pot, whatever you want to call it. I just got a cheap one from, I think, TJ Maxx or something. I, uh, I tape the vent hole so that nothing escapes. You're going to need something to lift the model off the ground. So I just got some cheap brass, or it might even be aluminum, but brass colored meshing from uh, Home Depot and bent it to make a stand. Okay, and you're gonna need acetone, common acetone from the hardware store. Don't use nail polish remover as that might have some additives, but use acetone. Now a word of caution, we're working with acetone and we're actually vaporizing it, which is very bad for you to breathe. So use it in a well vented area and uh, use a respirator mask if you're working right above it. Um, use gloves for protection. And acetone and heat do not mix. You do not want this on while you're pouring the acetone. Acetone is flammable, possibly even explosive. So please use this with caution. So here are the steps. First thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pour about two tablespoons of acetone into the bottom, very little. That's about it. Can you see that? I could, I'll move it to the edge so you can see a little teeny, maybe two, three tablespoons. Okay. And then I'll put the razor in there. I will put this on the hot pot and turn it up to low to medium heat and then I will get my model into that and close it. So what's the point of this? The point is we're trying simply to make the acetone evaporate, fill up this chamber in a vapor and deposit on the outside of the ABS. Acetone is a solvent for the ABS so that means that it's going to melt the ABS and by melting the ABS it's going to smooth out some of the layer lines and blend them together and it's going to create a nice shiny finish. Um, a word of caution, this isn't an exact science. So if you leave it in too little, you might get, not get enough smoothing. If you leave it in too long, the thing might become overly melted and droopy and you'll lose some of the details and features. Uh, it's, it's a big experiment. If you leave it in way too long with way too much acetone, you'll actually get a, get a bubbled surface that just looks like a piece of crackly bacon. So you'll wanna make a few pieces and experiment till you get the, the system right. I usually heat for about two or three minutes just until I see the acetone on the bottom evaporated and not on the bottom anymore. Then I completely shut off the heat and I leave it in there for like 20 minutes. So if you could see already at the bottom, the acetone is diminishing. There's very little down there. It's almost all gone. I'm gonna shut off that heat in a second. Then we'll let it sit for about 25, 30 minutes and we'll come back to it. Ready? Yeah. Okay, it's been about a 20 minutes, half hour. Um, I could already see through the top that the piece is shinier. This should be done outside. I'm gonna take it out here, but I'm gonna run the part outside to let it evaporate and not harm uh, the employees and myself in the studio. But I'm gonna take this off. The lid will have some vapors on it. You wanna be careful that uh, the base might be a little bit hot. You don't wanna to touch the model. And we'll wanna let that sit for a good 10, 20 minutes so that the outer surface hardens now because it's actually soft. If you touch it, you'll get fingerprints and dirty it up. But you could see the wonderful results. Um, 
If you want it shinier, use a little more acetone, leave it a little longer. If you want it more detailed, do it a little less. Like I said, be careful. If you do too much acetone or too much time, you're gonna have bubbling. Uh, I don't think this is an exact science. I'm not sure exactly how to recommend um, to be sure that you're gonna get the results you want other than experimenting on your own. So hopefully this just opens the door and uh, gives you the information you need to get started. So good luck and post your comments in the video below, especially if you have other tips to add to this. If you like it, let me know. Thank you.